feel lucky. Well, do you, punk? Oops. Hello, everybody. With a short intro of somebody who apparently did not have his lucky day this time. This video is about a backstop I built on my own because the ones I have didn't do the job properly. Yeah, they catch the bullets, but there's a lot of debris flying around and it just wasn't what I had on my mind, actually. The challenge was to use as many parts and stuff available in the basement or the attic. Any extra shouldn't cost more than 10 euros. The idea was to use a wooden box and a hinged clipboard on the front to hold the targets and a feed hopper in the bottom to funnel the bullet waste through kind of a drain. Ooh, that was a difficult sentence to say actually. But you probably have an idea now what I'm talking about. The material used for the back wall plays an important role naturally to determine what should happen to the bullet when it hits it. I've used relatively soft transport protection that came along with some loudspeakers and wrapped it in shielding fleece, usually put on the floor while painting, to increase durability. I wanted to give the rebounding bullet a trajectory towards the drain. So I put a bit of the foam material in the top between the created back wall and the wooden base. To be able to stick this whole thing to a wall, I used a mounting bracket from an old loudspeaker assembly. To keep the shutter in place, I attached a magnet and an opener and finally gave it some blue paint. This is the max distance I can shoot in my basement. It's about 10 meters. However, shooting itself is still relatively loud and it scares my dog. So I did two things. Move it into a room where I could lock the door and after a couple of hundred shots fired, do a bit of an overhaul dash improvement. Here you can see that the incoming bullets did some wear and tear on the back wall and even on the clipboard. Well, to my defense, I'm not the only guy shooting here. However, some of the marks totally off target are from me pulling my Dan Wesson revolver out of the holster, trying to quick shoot from the hip. Man, that is far more difficult than it looks like in the movies. So I fixed the holes, added an extra layer of denim for better resilience and gave it a fresh paint. In case you have a dog as well, you probably have one of these treat bags available you could use instead of the trash bin under the backstop. And this is the end of my video. I'm sure there are plenty of other ways to create a backstop, but I thought to share this with you just for inspiration. If you liked the video, I would appreciate a thumbs up. Any feedback is welcome. No matter what weapon you're allowed to use out there, have a safe and happy shooting. Take care.